Hello, students. Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to everyone to our English class. It's a great chance to... Uh, do you listen to me? Yeah. Okay, okay. It's because my, my laptop was, you know, reflecting something else. I need to check my charger here. Well, so it's a pleasure to see you here. Uh, I need an opportunity to go back in um, practice and practice English because we are here with the purpose to learn and also maximize your skills. So I just want to ask you, how was your how was your day? Was good, excellent, was very busy. So tell me about your day. He wants to break the ice and tell me about it. Yes. Tell me, tell me. It was good, teacher. It was good. Yeah. Okay. And you? Yeah, it was, it was excellent. I, I'm, you know, I was like very busy, but I really enjoy my, my job. Very, I mean, sometimes it's like a little tiring, but it's a personal satisfaction to me. So I could say that, you know, it's really good. So welcome to everyone. And I know that we are ready after different activities or jobs, responsibilities or families. And we are here to learn English and practice. You know, the personal satisfaction is to learn English, to understand, practice, communicate actively. So I want to feel like every single class because it's important to have a, a backup about what we do. And the question is why we started in the last class. So any volunteer that can tell me, a volunteer that can help me. Hello? Present simple? Uh, the pre in, in English? The present simple? Okay, the present simple. We were studying the present simple or not? Present continuous. Oh, the present continuous. That's correct. Present continuous form. Yeah, the present continuous form. That's right. So we're studying a little bit about the present continuous form. And uh, we were like, you know, talking about some uh, actions, you know, we were describing some common actions in the present continuous form. So we can see here. Well, um, do you see the, let me see, because I'm trying to share the presentation. I think you have it now. Do you see the presentation? Do you see the presentation? Yeah. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Teacher, la que pasaron ahora en el grupo no se puede abrir. Eh, what? What is that? La de este. Decía que tenía, una, decía que tenía un error, verdad? Pero yo ocupé otra plataforma para poder ingresar. ¿De qué hablan? ¿De, de, de presentación? ¿De PowerPoint presentation? PowerPoint. La presentación. Ajá, ah. decía que estaba dañada. Mm, let's see. Uh, because I think it, it was possible to open it. Let Yo lo mandé it. al WhatsApp, el, el error que me daba. Pero mm -hmm. sí, ya después pude abrirlo en otra forma. Y pudo hacerlo porque... Let's see. Sí, o sea, ya, no ocupé el, ya no ocupé el office, no que mi hijo me instaló otro y pues otro programa lo pude abrir. Ajá. Fíjese que yo lo he abierto en dos, en dos aparatos electrónicos y creo que no. Dicen, ajá, pero bueno, ¿ya lo tienen o? Pero pero un PDF reader se puede, se puede ver. Eso. That, was, that was weird because I could have access to open it. But anyway, bueno, lo importante es que lo pudieron hacer. Sí. Okay, so that is the goal. 
And also, um, you can also check the, the manual because in the manual, you also have access to check the topics that we are, you know, taking for our English class. So this is an extra material that can be very helpful. Okay, so let's start today. And we were talking yesterday about the present continuous or present progressive. And we also said that the present progressive is used to talk about actions that are happening, actions that are happening for a period of time, future actions, and actions in general, right? Like uh, habits. And today we're going to study the quantifiers. This is a very important topic too. And uh, we're going to look at this. We're going to also uh, focus in some exercises. Look at this. And we have a, a review, a review of the present continuous because we were studying yesterday the present continuous and most of you wrote some sentences using the present continuous form. Um, we need to move on to the quantifiers. So we took this topic to have a short review related to the present continuous. Okay, so for that case, I need your help. I need you to help me to complete the following sentences. And uh, you can help me with that one. Try to answer, you know, or complete these statements using the correct form of the verb. Teacher, in the first is, I'm uh, going to work. Um. Or I am, so can, yeah. Let's do it together. One second, I'm going to change my, the presentation because I'm going to also write some answers. Look at this. Mm -hmm. You have this, you have this, you have this part. Okay, look at this. We have to um, try to, complete this, the sentences using the best way or the best form of the verb in parentheses, that is the statement. And um, look at this one. Okay. Let's see, number one, What is what is the number one? I'm going to. Using contraction? Look at this yes. one, okay. So you're saying I'm going, right? The present continuous form, okay? So we just have it. I'm going to watch a movie. Uh, I N O X that in that case that number two look at the number two using contractions how this would be we're playing we're playing in the nearby park in the nearby okay in the nearby park park so nearby is like closed or a closed area so we're playing you can see the contraction. Number three, what is that? Help me with the number three. The boys are swimming. Okay, using uh, this, in that case, we cannot use contraction because it's not a personal pronounce. And also we can play the, the statement in this way. Look at this, the boys are swimming. Number four. Rita is singing. Singing. Uh, singing, right? Uh, Rita is singing. Okay. And we just go this part. Great job. Look at the next one. Number five. The child are playing basketball. 
The child is playing. Are playing baseball. Let's play. Uh, uh. So uh. The child is playing baseball. Children is our. <laughs> Sorry? Is, is is our... Child is singular. Child is singular. So in that case, it's is. If we say uh, children, is plural. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Number six. Is cooking. Is cooking. 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 He's famous Rabbi Ali. And you can see that example here. All right, so we can uh, also appreciate this part here in the sentence. Is teaching. Is teaching. Okay, so let me check this eye here. One second. Look at this. Okay, so in that case, we're going to use um, the simple K in teaching, right? That is the way. Is that correct? Okay, so you also can appreciate right here the use of the present continuous in the statements. Okay. Look at this one. Okay. Do you have a question or doubt? Oh, it's oh, it's okay for now. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty simple. And this moment is okay. It's clear in this moment. Okay, that's interesting. That's the way. Okay. Well, let's introduce a new topic in this case, and uh, we can also check the quantifiers. This is a very interesting topic because we're talking about um, amounts of things. And also, look at this one. And I would like to ask you in a general questions, what do you know about the quantifiers? What are these? What is that? Tell me what is a quantifier? Anyone? It is to count things, but not with uh, an amount. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me help you to um to write a possible answers about it. Let me see. I'm just gonna share it right now. What is the meaning about the the quantifiers? Well, so the quantifiers are adjectives or adjectival phrases that describe how much we're talking about uncountable and how many countable and nouns, right? The purpose is to know um or describe how much or how many about things. In that case, if we're talking about a few quanti quantities or a lot, so we're talking about that one. And um, in Spanish is also very used, you know, um, this is top, this topic, the quantifiers. And I'm going to share right now, well, you can appreciate here the presentation. Um, we have a hundred percent to zero percent. So we we have a like a, a rank between the hundred percent and zero percent. Look at this one. The first one is old, nearly old, and most. Then we have many, a lot, and some. 
and we have uh, not many, a few, few, and no one. In that case, we have these quantifiers. And uh, we're going to check the first one. All families have only one child. That means that we have a total amount or a complete number. That we say in Spanish como todo, right? Todas o todo. Todas las familias, all family. We're talking about 100%. And then we have nearly all. That is a little lower than 100%. We're talking about 90%. Nearly all in Spanish means like casi todas, casi todas, nearly all, as you can have an idea about it. Nearly all families have only one child. So no 100%, but in uh, at least 90%. Okay, look at this one. Next, most, it says um, la mayoría, but no 100%. We're talking about 80%, 75%, or 80%. Um, many, most families have only one child, la mayoría de las familias. Okay? And then we have many. Many families are smaller these days. In that case, many, we'll say in Spanish, uh, muchos, but we use many because many is countable. Es contable. Podemos usarlo con objetos contables with uh, countable nouns. So many, a lot of, a lot of in Spanish would be like a, a big portion that we could say in Spanish, bastantes familias, a lot of families, bastantes. We're talking about the 50%, like 50%, a lot of. And then we're like getting down using some, some families. Some families are smaller these days. Algunas. So the, the level is getting down, getting down, getting down because it's lower. So we can check this one. And then we have not many. We have no many here. Look at this. We can check this, um, this row here. So in that case, as to, um, no many couples have more than one child. In that case, we're talking about the 40% um, according to the, you know, the quantifiers level or percentage. And you can see here that it's no many. And I would say in Spanish, like no muchos. We are talking about things that we can count. And uh, no muchos, not many. And then we have a few, a few, unos pocos. A few couples have more than one child. So a few is like unos pocos. It's like, we're talking about the 30%, I, I guess so, 30%. And then maybe the 10% will be like few, few. In this case, in Spanish, it's like pocos, pocos, few. Few couples have more than one child. Pocas parejas eh, tienen más de un niño, right? Like few families. And the last one, that is the zero percent, oh, zero percent, we're talking about no one. What is the meaning about no one? Nadio, ninguno. Exactly. That will be a closer meaning about it. And no one gets married. Nadie se casa antes de los 18. According to the rules. And you can see a uh, Chinese family. So no one. We're talking about this year representative. Okay. Questions? Do you have a question or doubt? Yes. Hello, okay, no questions. All right. 
Well, so look at this one. It says rewrite these sentences using quantifiers, then compare it with a partner. In China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. And um, there is not a specific uh, percent, percent, but you have an idea like from 100% to 0%. For example, in China, um, you can say, according to the, the percent, what, which one? And most, many, a lot, some? A lot of. A lot of. Okay, could be a lot of. A lot of uh, women get married by the age of 22. So I want you to think about it. And also, I want you to try to rewrite these sentences using the quantifiers. You had a freedom to modify it and include the quantifier in the statement. That's what we had to do. Okay, so I will give you a short time to think about it and decide which uh, quantifier you can use in each sentence according to the percentage you can see. 50%, 87%, 0%, 35% um, of the people and 78% of American high school. Okay, so let's let's try now in good luck. Okay, let's try now.
Okay, uh, please let me know when you are ready. Uh, ready or not yet? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, well, remember that when you're ready, let me know, right? Because I'm waiting and also respecting the personal rhythm of learning because it's important, right? All of us, we learn in different rhythms time process it's something that we had to respect but at the same time and we are going with that one all right so look at this first one i need a volunteer to give me an idea about what could be the real answer me in china a lot of women get married by the age of 22 Okay, say like at the age of 22. And so what is uh, students, what is the correct um, quantifier according to you? A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. Okay, someone else? Many. Many, okay. I think many is up 50. So it's a little bit more like 60 or 65. So look at the number two, another volunteer. In Australia, nearly all of married couples have children. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. According to this uh, percent, which um, quantifier could be the best choice for all of us to include? Look at this. Which uh, quantifier could be the best? It says 87%. Uh, Yes. Number two, which quantifier could be the best choice? Nearly all. Nearly all. Nearly all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, nearly all in Australia, mm -hmm. nearly all married couples have children. So it's something very common. Okay. Next, number three, volunteer. Okay, in the United States, no one votes before the age of 18. Yeah, definitely the best choice. No one. <laughs> no one of, yeah, no one vote before the age of 18. That's right, according to the American Constitution, there are some rules that had to have to be followed. Next one, number four. It, Not many of the people in Germany live alone. Mm 
okay? Alone, right? So what what could be the percentage? Because, well, the, the general, can you help me? Number four. Mm, some people. Some people. Let's see. Some people. We're talking about 35%. A little bit lower. Lower, like... Do you think it could be between some and no many? What do you think? The rank would be between some and no many. That is acceptable. And the last one, which one? Okay, the last. Most American high school students have jobs Okay, uh, most. Okay, most American high school students have jobs. Could be eighty percent between the most. Yeah, and also many too. It's like the, the estimate. There is not a specific person. I mean, for each one, but we have an estimate. Okay. Congratulations, we just like practice and use the quantifiers in the statement. So the next step for this exercise is to check this one. We have a conversation. I come from a big family. Look at this one. The goal is that we pay attention and try to socialize about this conversation. The conversation is between Marcos and Meili. Um, what do you see in the picture? What, what comes into your mind? Use your imagination. And think what do you think is happening in there in the picture? They are in a meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Do you think there are uh, friends that are employees or they belong to a company? What do you think? Yes. No idea. Okay. Let's listen to the following conversation. How many brothers and sisters do you have, May Lee? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Whoa, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Look, that was a, that was a little funny. Yeah, so a lot of families are smaller these days. So big families, the advantage is that you have more birthday presents. Okay. And I have a question. Is your birthday coming soon? No. 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 Okay. Okay. What do you understand about the conversation? Who wants to help me to break the ice, you know, and tell me what do you get from this conversation? Okay. Me está preguntando sobre su familia, los miembros. Entonces le está respondiendo que solo tiene, solo tiene uno, ¿entiendes? 
¿Y cuántos hermanos tiene? Y él responde que es solo un hermano. ¿Qué? Si sí, algunas familias son grandes o son pequeñas. Okay, well, that's interesting. All right, thank you so much. So we can we can talk about that one. So do you have a big families or a small families? Yeah, big families. Oh, you have a big family. Big family. Oh, a big, big family, family too. Big big family. Okay. Okay, so there are some big families and there are small families. All right, that's okay. You know, this is important to talk about that. And everything depends on the culture. You know, China has a special culture and um, the, they try to reduce the population. So that's why they controlled the birth rate. Well, we're going to work in the following exercise and uh, we're going to choose the correct answer. We have some, we have any, we have much, many, a lot of, a little, and a few. Uh, just to explain you in a briefly way, the use of this one. Some, in Spanish is algunos, right? And then we have any. Any in Spanish is cualquiera or um, negative. Podemos usar también any para negative. Uh, they aren't any books. They aren't any tables. Uh, there isn't any bread, for example. Entonces, any lo usamos para negativo o lo usamos para eh, cualquiera. Much, mucho, para cosas que no se pueden contar. Por ejemplo, el agua no se puede contar. We cannot, it's an uncountable. El aceite, the, the, you know, is not countable. The oil is not countable. The air is not countable. No se puede contar el aire. Entonces, many, también es muchos, para cosas que sí se pueden contar. Things that we can count. So we can see the difference. A lot of, a lot, es para ambos, para cosas que se pueden contar. Para cosas que no se, en este caso, para cosas que se pueden contar y no, y no se pueden contar. Porque el significado va a ser eh, bastantes. A lot of. Uh, this is the, something uh, peculiar in this process. Let's continue with the next one. Um, a little. A little, que en este caso es como un poco o poquito, para cosas que no se pueden contar. A little sugar, poca azúcar. A little salt, poca sal. Hay poco pan, a little bread. Y a few, que es pocos o unos pocos, para cosas que sí se pueden contar. Unos pocos carros, a few cars. Unos pocos estudiantes, a few students. And those are the kind of quantifiers. So I will give you a couple of minutes to check and select the best choice for each statement.
Ni mau apa haji dah dah bola kena kena menjo. Para kau Almost ready, ready.
Ready? Not yet. Okay. May I the first one? Sure. Okay, um, it is, there aren't many car parks in the center of Oxford. That's correct. Congratulations. We're going to Thank share you. right now the, um, let me share here the screen in the, in the other side. Yeah, because we're talking about car parks. I need to move this, I'm going to move this. So it's more visible in this case. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, let's see, you say that there are, there aren't um, many car parts in the central Israel. They are like, it's countable. The car parks are countable. Okay, you can see that one. Yeah, it's a good choice. Congratulations. What about the number two? Eating out. Eating out is expensive here. The errand, a lot of cheap restaurants or a little. Okay, well, what do you think? A lot of you can do it, you can do it. Eating out is, is expensive here. There aren't there aren't any cheap restaurants. Any cheap restaurants. Yeah, so that's mean that all of them are expensive. So do we have a cheap Restaurants in the Salvador? Do we have cheap restaurants in the Salvador or there aren't? Yeah. There are many. Yeah, we have. Okay. Nice. Number three, Liverpool. Yeah. Has a lot of great nightclubs. Um, a lot of yeah, we can also use a lot. A lot of. And and uh, what about this one? Is countable or an uncountable? Is countable or an uncountable? Countable. Yes, it's one a club, two, three, four. So we can count them individually. So in that case, it's accountable. Number four, hurry up. We only have, we only have a little, a little time, a little time. Okay. before the coach leaves. Okay, so that's acceptable. Definitely. So help me with that one. Next one, number five. Next. We saw some, some, some beautiful wow. scenery when we went to Australia. Yes. It's a, a lot, maybe, to change. Um, th well, do you think it's uh, countable or an uncountable? Mm. So we can say some? Uncountable. Uncountable. The scenery. Do you know what is a scenery? Countable. 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 <laughs> 
Do you know what is a scenery? It's many. Because it says uh, a beautiful scenery. Any. Like say, escenarios, right? Like paisajes también, like the scenery, mm -hmm. landscapes. Mm -hmm. A beautiful Suizo. Um, Any. Many. many. Many beautiful scenery. So we also can use many, um, a, a few, unos pocos. So we, we can use it. Number six. A. Uh, a few. A few, a few shops. So, we can yeah. also, yeah, we can also yeah. use a few shops. Yeah, it's, it's acceptable too. Okay, next, number seven. Is a very quiet. There aren't any. Any people here today? Ah, okay. Any people? A good choice. Okay, and the last one. There are some. Uh, some expensive new flats. Um, we can also use some. It depending, right? If there, is, there are more or few, so we can also, some could be a choice. There are some expensive new flats next to the river. Okay, congratulations. We just like um, working that one. And uh, before we conclude, I need to um, uh, check the attendance list. So I want you to work the, the next one. So we had to select a few and little. So in that case, we're going to use only two. A few for countables and a little for unaccountables. Few para contables y a little for unaccountables. Um, can you send a picture to the group about this exercise? I will really appreciate that one for you guys and for your kindness. Let me know. Okay, someone can, yeah, thank you so much for, so, okay, and just give me a moment, please. Okay, take a short time to select the best choice and also answer, you know, the following part. Okay, uh, Ana Isela Janes? Present. Thank you. Uh, Ana Ruth Perez? Present. Carlos Ernesto Flores? Carlos? He's not? Uh, David Alejandro Rodriguez? Here. David Rafael Ramos? Present. Um, Diana Beatriz Reyes. Present. Diana Cristabel Melendez. Present. Eric Javier Ventura. Present. Fiorella Alejandra Crespin. Fiorella? She's not. Present. Oh, she's there. Thank you. 
Thanks. Uh, Gerardo José Tepas. Gerardo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Um, Henry Alejandro Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ingrid Magdalena Castellanos. Ingrid. Okay. Uh, Jorge Francisco. Present. Thanks. Uh, Juana Margarita Sea. Present, teacher. Thank you. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. Uh, Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Laura Lisette Peña. Present. Uh, Lorena Araceli Hernández. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Mirna Yasmin Portillo. Present. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Present. Reina ja Jael Arevalo. Reina. No, she's not. Let's see. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Eh, Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present teacher. Thanks. Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Tatiana. Eh, Ursula Adriana Burgos. Present. And Wendy Lisette Hernández. Present. Thank you so much. Okay, students, congratulations for the practice. It was a very interesting. And we will continue tomorrow because the time, you know, has gone so fast, but we will also check in the last exercise. And I hope that we can learn a lot. Let's answer in a brief way. He speaks. A little. A little Spanish, right? Because it's uncount un uncountable. There are only. A few. A few bananas. That's right. We need. A little. A little because it's an uncountable. Next one. Number four. The teacher gives us. A little time. A little time to prepare before a test. No. Uh, there are only a few a few days to, left to hand in the reports. I bought a few a few apples. Could could I have a, a little? Yes. And the last one. Look, there are. A few. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Great job to everyone. Okay, students, thank you so much for being here. We hope to see you tomorrow. And we're about to finish our English classes very soon. Okay, so try to practice working activities and do your best. Okay, so have a beautiful night to all of you and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. You too. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you Good too. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you, See teacher. Tomorrow. Appreciate tomorrow. it. Thanks a lot. Good night. Good night.